Hello, hello, this is Detatan from VP Universe. So we here for the series of video tutorials for DM decorization with colorizing DMD and serum. And let's get started with the very beginning uh, that would be how to create a dump from your DMD and how to add it to colorizing DMD. So um, Yep, I will hide this. Uh, so here we are, get started. Uh, everything starts first in the file explorer of Windows. You need to go to C drive, visual pinball. Well, I expect that visual pinball would be here. And then you go into the vpin main uh, folder and you will need to create, if it's not existing already, a DMD dump folder. So this is where the dump will be located. So you need to create it in order uh, for the files to be generated later on. So you see there are several here already and I will be showing you what is happening. So uh, once your folder subfolder is created, uh, let's go back to Visual Pinball. Uh, so I will create a dump for Jurassic Park and I'm using the biggest mod of this table. So I'm loading the table, just a few things because for some guys, if you have a fresh new installation, it can be uh, not this way. So your display should be in uh, Windows full screen or whatever. Uh, for sure, uh, you need to make sure yeah, that force exclusive full screen mode is deactivated. So this is needed if you want to, uh, to, uh, to display some, uh, some on-screen information. And this is what we can see here. So I will press F1 from my keyboard and this screen will appear. So uh, with this, uh, if you have some colorization already installed on your pinball, um, on, your, on your computer or on your pinball machine, it should be like that with colorized DMD and perhaps it is like this. So to say to use the DMD extensions and to colorize. What you will have to do is to click on this one, show DMD, so to have both checkbox that are uh, ticked like it is on my screen. So with the both uh, checkbox, you will see the two screens here, uh, the two DMDs, so the original one from, uh, from Vepin MAME and uh, this one that is a DMD extension that could also be colored if you already have the ROM in color. Unfortunately, the dump will be uh, in raw files, in raw frames, you won't have the colorization on it. But still, this is the best way to get the dump done. So now, um, what is important to understand is that you will be dumping all the frames that will be displayed. So in order to uh, get all the, uh, the, uh, the screen, you will need to play. Uh, to play the game in order to uh, to record all the uh, frames. So here I will start, so the introduction is quite long, so I will just get started and start to play just for you to, to see about uh, what will be recorded then afterwards. So I'm playing a bit on that. So when you're playing and when you're dumping a file, uh, be aware that it has to be um, as full as possible, uh, of course, with all the game options, the game uh, missions, um, all the, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, smart missing, status screen, uh, single player, multiplayer. Uh, you also have to, uh, you have to, so as to have all the variations and so on in order to record as much uh, frame as possible because. Uh, you will need to colorize everything uh, in order to be uh, displaying everything in color. Um, to, uh, to be a bit easier, uh, so some of you might already know this trick, uh, you can press uh, escape or Q depending on your version of VPX. Uh, you click on debugger, you click here on ball control and then getting back to, uh, to, to, to the, the game, you can control the ball uh, with your mouse, which makes it a lot easier uh, to activate all the screens that are needed uh, for your colorization. So this way, let's say that you do everything with your dump, you dump all the frames, or at least as much as possible. Don't worry, you can add frames later, but to be honest, it's better to have a, a full dump with a lot of uh, information uh, already recorded. So once finished, you just need to quit Visual Pinball and then you will open up Colorizing DMD. So 
I'm opening the uh, the software colorizing DMD. So for this video, I'm still on version 1.16. Here you've got the buttons that will help you uh, to add TXT files, which is the format of the dump. So I'm clicking on TXT. I'm navigating to go to Visual Pinball, Vpin Mame, DMD dump and you will see a dump file with the same name of the ROM. So for Jurassic Park, this is dump file uh, because this is the ROM version I was using just right now. I click on yes and you will see the loading screen. Of course, the bigger the file, the longer it will uh, take to load all the, all the frames. And you will here see uh, in the bottom part of the of the software, sorry, in the frame strip, you will see all the frames, all single frames here that will appear. The so things to to notice and also to talk about uh, the uh, the software and the way it is. So on the upper part, you've got the toolbar with all the tools that will be used. There is no menu, hidden menu or whatever. Everything is displayed here in the toolbar. This is the zone where it is the active frame and in the bottom you will have the frame strip. Uh, you can notice two numbers. One of them is the number of the frame in your, in your dump. So this is frame number 99 and you can see that it's growing uh, one by one. And the other number is the duration of the frame. So you can see, so it's the duration in milliseconds. So you can see that at the beginning, I've got a lot of frames that are almost the same. Then I see a bit of the attract mode with the insert coin. And you see, for example, that some of the frames are staying a bit longer active. Some of those are a bit quicker. Everything depends on the ROM and, um, and it can help, for example, to see that some frames are very, very um, fast. So maybe you don't need uh, to record them all or at least to, um, to color them all. Um, for this room, there is no, let's say, big issue with that. For other uh, machines like the Gottlieb machine, there is some transitional frames that makes it a bit harder to filter at the beginning. But let's say that if you, 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 you plan to, um, to do a Gottlieb machine, do not hesitate to join our Discord and we'll, uh, we'll give you some support and explanation about what is important or not. So this is how you can uh, easily create a dump file and, um, and uh, uh, load it into colorizing DMD. If you are missing some frames, uh, it's not a big issue as I was saying, it's better to have everything so, so it's easier to, to have uh, and to see all the frames down there. Um, if you need to re-import some frames because you, you made some new recordings, then, then you will just need to hit the TXT plus button and it will add some frames. So I will take another one even if it's not relevant. So let's say I, I, I take some frames from Stargate. So in the end of the frame strip here, you will see that I've got a new frames and these frames are coming from the new dump file that was the Stargate one. So that's it. Um, that's it for this video. Um, next, in the next video, you will see how to use the different tools that we have. Uh, we'll have some comments about the basics of the colorization and explanations about the different content that we'll have to colorize later on. And of course, a presentation of mask detection or detection masks because it is one of the most important topics to uh, know in uh, DMD colorization.